Good evening gamers and welcome to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. And I am going to at least try to make this one a little more interesting than my... Oh yeah, I built that one. Than my last one. I feel like the last episode is probably one of the most boring episodes I've ever recorded on any game. I feel like I was just whining about the weather the whole time and not really accomplishing anything. I guess I got like a vial of antidote. And I built this thing. Which is collecting fishies for me, but other than that, I don't feel like I really did too much. But today I'm gonna play a little bit longer and probably cut out most of it and uh, see if I can accomplish a little bit more. How do we actually... there we go. I can't dock with this on, can I? No. Can I actually... Holy... what? How does that fit? Oh, it disconnected. Oh, well, that's, I suppose, convenient. All right, well, um, here's the thing, though. I feel like I really need to learn how to get my bear... Like, I need to learn this planet a little bit more and how to get around it, because I keep getting lost. So I am just gonna cruise for quite a bit and try to discover some new... Uh, territories. I feel like I want to learn a little bit more about... How do we do this again? About, like, um, different biomes and stuff like that, and where to find different resources, and maybe even set up another base or two. I really feel like that could benefit me as well, in just kind of... learning to tell different places apart on this. It just all looks like ice and blue and... Like, it's not at all like the other one where you, like the first game, where you had such different biomes. But, I am going to, where did I drop that beacon? Dropped beacon. 2000, and that is southeast. I thought that was northeast. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm going to circle up north, and then make my way around east, and then go down to that beacon. To start with, because I feel like that's the regions I've spent the least amount of time in. South, southwestish, and well, west too on land, is where I've definitely spent the most time so far. So, I don't really want to just go around the same stomping grounds just looking at the same things. I want to explore a little bit of new stuff. Really wish I had like a GPS so I could tell on a map where I actually am, but... Let's see here. Hopefully there should be something interesting in this direction. Am I like catching fishes constantly? I keep hearing that blip noise. Ah, shit. What the hell was that? Ah. Okay. I don't, I don't even know. Now, I don't know what kind of resources I should be collecting. I mean, do I even have anything? No. Um, I'm guessing I'll definitely titanium. Maybe I should grab some quartz. Because, like, what is that? Is that, like, lead? No, it's chance of silver. And it was silver. But, like, maybe I should grab some quartz and stuff on the way in case I need, like, glass for hatches or whatever, or any solar cells if I do set up a base. How's my aquarium doing, by the way? Oh, look at all the freaking fishes. I got one of those little nasty assholes, too. All right, well, we got some uh, we got some fishes, but we have no real means of cooking them unless I let them out and cut them with my thermal blade. I wonder if you can build, like, a fabricator in one of these, too. I have to imagine there must be more modules than just, like, the aquarium one. Uh, let's grab some more quartz. It's actually kind of cozy how the aquarium module is so lit up in the back there. Like, it makes you feel like you're a little less little less alone out in the dark like it's a it's a little more homey all right and i don't think quartz is actually too rare either maybe i should have been grabbing titanium instead just remember never having quartz in the original one whenever i needed windows and stuff let's go did it freeze that thing i think it froze that thing it's like an ice dude Ah, the f oh is that was that him growling the frozen one? What the? Oh, that is just weird. Let me go out and take a look. 
Oh, that is so crystally. All right. Well, uh, fine. Let's get back into here. I don't think I want to be here really any longer, even if that guy isn't particularly... Oh, is he thawing now? Can we get rid of this? Okay, well, goodbye to you then. Oh, this is where these huge guys were. The whale something. What was it? Glow whale? Oh, I like those guys. They're so peaceful. Um... What do we have up here? We have a lot of uh, ice, is what we have. I guess we'll keep going. Where was my drop beacon? There it is. But that's pretty south. But would I really like to... set up anything down here? And is this the edge of the world, or is it just going deeper and, like, it's just a deeper area? I guess it's just a deeper area, maybe. I don't really know where the edge of the world is in this game. It looks a little, though, like it could be just sloping off into nothing up there. This is actually pretty beautiful, too in its own little sort of barren, cold way. Like, I, I know I was complaining before that this one wasn't... It wasn't as sort of tropical vacation-ish as the first one, but um, it's kind of nice too, though. I think the main reason why it really irked me is that it makes it hard... Like, everything looks so much the same in this one. There's not that much of a difference color-wise and stuff between regions that I've seen so far, anyway. So it's just, I get a little more disoriented. Is this the actual world edge? I can't really go much deeper, so I can't really tell. Maybe this would actually be even a cool place to have a little outpost. I mean, I don't know. I can think of worse places, probably. Maybe I should set something up. Is there enough titanium in the area? Would you look at all of these? Are these titanium? No, they're copper. Holy shit, they're copper. So I need me a prawn suit sometime soon, because I keep seeing these huge things all over the place. And I really would like to harvest some of it. Whoa. Jesus, what is this? Ice? Looks like an ice wall just out of nowhere. the hell was that? And why is my PDA sideways now? It didn't used to be... Okay. I don't know why. Okay, what was actually a moon pool? Shit, titanium, ingot times two, lead and lubricant. Shit. I'd like to start by setting up a moon pool so I can dock, but there is no way to get... And I don't have a fabricator, so I can't make ingots anyway. Screw that then. I guess we're not, um... I guess we're not building a moon pool out here. Okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we actually drop a beacon since I actually happen to have a few of them now? Uh, let's call this possible base location. Although it'll be more like a tiny outpost. I'm not gonna want to build a whole base here probably, but... Let's leave that there. Warning. Yeah. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'll just start circling back around, I think, to try to get some materials. I am also constantly on the lookout for anything that might help me upgrade this, like any of those plants or whatever I needed for, for the depth upgrade. Like, I really want to be able to go deeper. So that's also like, I'm kind of looking for any difference in resources or anything like that. What is this place? Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, shit, no, where did you come from? Holy hell. No, ho, ho. Jesus, dude. What the hell was this? It's some big crack of some kind. Christ, can I hide here and repair? Where the hell did that guy come from? Oh, this does not actually look very friendly. Yeah, don't I know it. Where did that guy go? Shit. All right, let's go out and repair. Repair you. Shit, that guy is still up there. 
Holy hell! Are you gonna go away, dude? Shit! Can I go in and sneak some oxygen? Or are you gonna kill me? Turn the freaking light off. Maybe you won't notice me. But I just noticed this hole is actually right on an artifact. And is that a diamond? That's a diamond. And that's a ruby. And it looks kind of... could provide useful information. Processing. I'm sure it could. Where is it though? What's I the... I visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The uh -huh. image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. The stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Uh-huh. Does that sound like any I've... I don't know if that sounds like... Spires stretching up. I don't know if that sounds too familiar. Ooh, more diamonds. Was that the actual... Was that the only... Isn't there supposed to be like a statue or something special here? Or is that further down? Oh, there's stuff down there. And I'm gonna run out of air. Why don't we actually go to Blurpy first? Ah, oh, shit, that guy is still here. Seriously, are you just gonna circle this place? Is that like his job or something? Let's get some quick oxygen. What? Answer. Again? How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. Yeah, this sounds when really die, important, but... Some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, Okay, I'm swimming it's down. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. <laughs> that idea is foreign to me. Well, at least I know where I can get a few diamonds. No! Is there anything I can... Okay, let's drink some. No, I should have drank the lower water. Christ. Alright, whatever. I'm sure this might be nothing anymore, but I just kind of want to look at it just for visual, I don't know, gratification. Like, I just want to, I just like to see these structures and stuff, like, even if they're not important to actually visit or scan. Although, they have freaking cubies. Jesus. Christ. Well, I'm not going to drop any diamonds, that's for darn sure. Um, let's scan this one, I guess. It's a ground sampler, is it? New technology acquired. I, I, ion battery. That sounds efficient. Um, ion power cell. Well, awesome. And I'm guessing I need these cubes for that. And I can't grab them. But um, I will certainly be back. And there's Mr. Asshole again. Okay, so I don't really like dropping my last beacon but I will do so anyway because I need to be able to find this place again for all the diamonds why don't we um diamond hole shorten to the point all right now let's see if we can navigate around this little Jesus do you have to circle right there okay where are you there you no that's what yeah, that is you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, I want to go northwestish, so let's run this way as quickly as we possibly can. Maybe we can dare get some lights on now. I don't know. Is is he still? Ah! Fuck me! Oh, I hate that. Ooh, shit! And he's actually on my tail too. All right, well, let's just keep going for it then. Hopefully, he leaves me alone eventually. 
but that is cool so we got some ion batteries and power cells that definitely is some nice incentive to actually have a base around that place well i guess i can bring the two ion cubes home pretty easily but also the diamonds and stuff like i feel like having a base in that region is actually cool good decision let's go grab some titanium and actually build it Wait, didn't I need some l Well, I don't have any inventory space, but didn't I need some loot? Wasn't that those guys? I'm pretty sure that was those seed clusters, right? Have to go grab some of them. Sorry. I also want to eventually come up with a method for navigating the snowy landscapes too, up on by the snowy base without getting lost all the time. Like, I was thinking maybe I could build some light sticks or something and just position those out. But I don't know what they require. They might need a lot of... Maybe they need batteries. I don't know. But, um... I don't know. I really want to find a way not to just get lost all the time. And this actually is turning out to be... Maybe I actually need to rebuild this base at some point. Because this is a little bit irritating to dock this way. But, um... Not that I really have to, I guess. But... Still kind of nice to charge this thing. Can we? Can we get? Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, back home again. Did we ditch the thing down there? In a yeah, we did in a kind of weird angle. But all right, let's go uh, dump some stuff. Make an ingot. Make another ingot. And what else was it? A uh, lubricant and lead. Oh, I even have some spare lube. Okay, so I am set to be able to build a moon pool, but I probably want some... Uh, well, I want a hatch, definitely. Quartz and titanium I should be able to manage. But um, what was these? Solar panels. Copper I have, titanium times two. So I could grab a few more titanium, and that's really about it for now. And then I can actually head right back there. Let's... All right, let's get back out there then. All right, so back we go to the possible base location. And now I know that the diamond hole is where that asshole is probably circling. So I'm gonna try to avoid that as well. But I am gonna swerve a little bit and kind of check out some other locations too on the way and try to just go a slightly different path just in case I can find any of those whatever the pink plant fragment was or whatever that I needed and what about down here this is like there's no reason to go shit what What the hell do I have on my ass now? Okay, one of those guys. I need to start learning how to tell the sounds apart from the different critters in this game. I keep confusing like every single sound I hear and I have no idea how dangerous they actually are. What the shit is this now? Huh. Oh, one of you. See, that sounded dangerous, but it wasn't so much. Oh shit, I'm actually under ice now. What the heck kind of- what is this ice thing? What the hell? This is huge. And I'm coming up on the diamond holes. I'm gonna steer clear of that. All right, and there we have the beacon. Now where do I actually want to- I probably want it kind of high. Let me see if we can get out and uh get our little fabricator out how high can we actually get a um, a moon pool off of the ground how high can we if we just go out, oh okay all right so oh does that only anchor it with two points oh well that's so that means less invisible legs to bump into that could be kind of nice but how would that look let's try this Huh? Well, I mean, it looks a little funny, but <laughs> all right. I mean, I, uh, I don't know about the structural integrity of that one, but um, as long as there's no strong underwater currents, I guess it would work.
But that's that's kind of how I want it, like nice and high to be able to dock easily. What's with all the creepy noises all of a sudden? Let's go right up into our... No, wait, we can't... Uh, well, maybe we can dock, but we don't have any power. Jesus, these sounds. Alright, let's make a little thing right there. Well, there we go. Awesome. Oh, wait, I don't need that. Yeah. I don't need a hatch. Why would I need a hatch on a moon pool? What was I what was I thinking? I should have brought glass for windows instead. But I, aboard, Captain. Yeah, I actually think I brought stuff for a fabricator, if I'm not entirely mistaken. No, we can't. We don't have quartz. How odd. But I imagine we must have some quartz down here somewhere. Because I kept seeing quartz, like, everywhere on the way here. And I guess we have these huge-ass quartz. But isn't there, like, a smaller one? Please tell me there are actually some small quartz as well. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit sad. I suspect there might not be any small quartz here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Wait, am I gonna be able to get into Blurpy now that the power is in... Wait, 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 wait. I need oxygen. Can I... Oxygen. No, you can't... Are you shitting me? Can you not get into this freaking thing when... No. Yep, I'd... Oh, shit, and I get to restart here? Did I lose anything? I don't know, but... How do I... How do... What do I do now, then? I mean... I can't really leave. Um, shit. Alright, well, maybe it's silly to just sit here and die. Should we try to go to the surface? Oh, and great, this thing is almost out of battery here soon. What is this surface even? What's up here? Creepy noises everywhere. Okay, well that feels great. Frickin' ice walls that no one can climb and nothingness. Shit, well, okay, should I just- I guess I'll just swim backwards a little bit and try to find some quartz then. I don't know what else I can do. I guess I can eat this peeper. I'm getting grumpy again. I need to try to keep a positive attitude, but like, what is- hang on, where am- Oh, I'm not actually that far from Blurpy. Maybe I need to go a little further back here. I need to watch my O2, too. Come on, is there any Oh, is that quartz- is that... No, it's flowers. Shit. Shit, I need to get back to the surface. I do like the sunsetty and sunrisey things here in this game. Why don't we go up and take a look? Hey, penguins. I mean, if this game could just be like this. Like, look at that archway there. Like... If it could just be like this, without the snowstorms all the time, this would be such a beautiful game. But you can just never see any of it. That's like my main issue. It's like a fraction of the time that, yeah, see, like fog. Okay, great, fun. Let's go down and see if we can find any more. Ah, oh, shit, there's you. Hi. Can we find any quartz before? I know the power is on now, but with my luck, it's gonna be probably off again by the time I get back there. So maybe I should use this one too. So I would like to have a little quartz so I can maybe build myself another char uh, solar cell panel thing when I get back there, preferably. And get some more energy. What are you doing on the ocean floor? Into the ocean floor. I see we're still clipping. They didn't bother fixing that, huh? There should be like a variable set on those guys so that they can only swim so far from the nearest terrain. Like that really... 
That should not be impossible to fix, really. Ooh, it's a quartz. If there's one, there should be more, I hope. Hello? Oh, is it hiding in the grass again? Same thing as that sneaky red grass in the other original game. There's one. Let's get some oxygen if I don't die and lose my quartz. That would be hilariously annoying. Warning. 30 oh seconds god. Of oxygen remaining. I think I can make it though. I don't think this is too bad. There's that music again. Let's see if we can shoot right up on this icy thing. Boop. And it's snowing. Okay, let's go down and waste the last of our battery. I am really gonna need like a battery charger. Or oh, ion batteries. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I am gonna slap a solar panel on this thing right away to increase my chargeage. Yeah, awesome. Why don't we also put you so you can restore power even more. Cool, now watch me not have enough for some other stupid thing like the fabricator. But that's kinda cool still because I just wanna be able to dislodge my freaking sub. Thank you, goodbye. Don't wanna be attached to you anymore. Alright, so can we actually make a fabricator? Yes, we can! Alright, well, let's make you just there then. I haven't even tried the jukebox either. There's a lot of stuff I haven't... Yeah, that was two. Uh, maybe some plants would be nice too and some windows, but uh, let's not get too carried away. This is a pretty good start for a little base. Now, I don't know if this is the edge of the map. I thought it was, but why don't we call this the edgy outpost for now but maybe the map is bigger than this i don't know it seems like near the where was my drop be uh... but that's south so this is the direction of the well should we maybe grab a few food fishes too now that i actually have my uh fabricator in my moon pool and actually cook them and eat them so i don't have to fuss with a freaking knife because that's a little annoying sometimes unpowered you are never mind then why is the pilot's last known position still being broadcast like shouldn't that be Shouldn't that have disappeared? Like, is there something I need to do at that location that I haven't done yet? Maybe I should go check that out. I don't know if I could go deep enough with the... Um, with this... Oh shit, right, here's the diamond hole. That means there's an asshole circling, probably. Let me go a long way around you. Oh wait, no! I had I had ion cubes to grab down there. Shit, there you are, you little creepy. Oh, I don't want you to kill me. Can I shit? Can I sneak down? I'm probably going to wreck this more myself than he could. But um okay, let's um This reminds me of like the Sarlacc pit or something. It doesn't look particularly hospitable, but okay. Why don't we leave you here, go out and grab some resources, particularly the diamonds and things. But I especially want to go, that's lithium too, want to go down here and grab the um, ion cubes. Okay, let's grab you. What is this thing measuring? It's looking down into, was it, what was it, ground, ground measurer? Or was it? Was it? Oh. It was some kind of ground activity. Some I don't know what it was called. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Really? Ah. Oh, ooh, I don't like those. I am gonna sneak off. Where are you, you little shit? I don't see you. That's never a good sign. 
Okay, let me just... Let me just sneak off in this direction. And still no real sign of any particular particularly unique plant like any any of those I don't know what it was it was something red could it be something that grows on land is that why I'm not seeing it anywhere either that or it's got to be like deeper because I don't know I I haven't seen I thought it was reddish to pink in color I don't think I've seen anything like that what is that rumbling? Warning. Maximum damage oh, reached. fuck. Hull damage imminent. Well, I can't go any deeper Warning. here, but the Maximum shit. Depth reached. Doesn't really look like there's too much to explore anyway. Did that glow whale just swim through the entire rock like it's just not there? Oh, such realistic immersion in these games. Like, couldn't they have fixed that from the first one? But alright. I shan't complain. Where, uh... What is this? What is this? Oh, shit, fuck! Oh, I thought you were a glow whale. Oh, shit, but there was something interesting down there. What? Oosh. Can you swim away, please? There's clearly something there. And I'm gonna run out of battery if I go with my little sea glide there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Let me scan you real quick. A qu Shit, I already have that. Ah! I don't know where you are, but I'm not gonna look around. Hoo, hoo. Let's an outmaneuver this little sucker. Oh, they can go through rock walls. So I Why am I going to the glow? There we go. There's my thing. Not gonna ride the freaking glow whale out of here. Okay, that was a waste of time. Goodbye. Here's some more wreck crap. What is this? It's a body cache. Um, hang on. What is this? Is this another aquarium? Yes, it's another aquarium. What the hell? I am filling up my inventory on just aquarium things. Aren't there any other things in this game? Like any other modules? Warning. Maximum ah. reached. Hull damage imminent. What is that? Is that another aquarium thing? Is this like the Valley of the Lost Aquarium modules? Is this where they come to die? Is this another one? Jesus, it is another one. I keep risking my life for all these aquarium modules. Didn't the music get all funky all of a sudden? What are these? Why? What? Ah, oh, fuck you! No! Shit! You little ass! Ah, they, they're they so... I can't even hear them coming. Warning. Maximum Aye. Damage Hull damage imminent. Yep. Absolutely. What is... What is... What, what is that? Hang on, can I can I chill here for a little bit, or is little Mr. Ass? No, I think he went away. I don't know. Okay, all right, cool. Ah, what? No, 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 no. What the fuck? No, no, please don't. Ah. Shit. All right, fine. There's you. All right, cool. Goodbye. Let's just let's just get out of here. And these. These lantern things looking plants weren't anything either, right? What is that? A very pretty tree. I just want to get somewhere and repair. I just want to be not attacked for like a little second. Shit, is he on my ass still? Something is. Isn't this an otherworldly region? Now, what do I actually have on my ass? Nothing? No. Ah! Ooh. All right. Fine. Stop here. Repair. If we have any battery in our freaking repair thing. Okay, maybe I can check out this tree then. Is this anything? Can we get anything from you? No, I don't think we can. 
what is that? Is that the Mercury? That is the Mercury. I've never seen it from, from this direction before in the sunlight. I remember this being such a dark, creepy place. It's kind of pretty in its little hazy uh, outline. Um, Alright, so let's keep driving then, I guess. Where's home? There's home. But is there anything in this region that we really want to grab? Ah! Oh no you don't! Alright, fine. Goodbye then. I'm not even gonna stick around. I'll just keep heading home. Oh, there's that dish too. I needed something for that dish as well. I got the little the little thingy, but the little thingy is supposed to sit in some kind of module or whatever it was. That was quite a few episodes ago and I still haven't gotten anywhere closer to finding that, I don't think. Now let's see if we can do a little bit more of an elegant docking here. Can we maybe come from the right direction? Which would be probably over here under this bridge kind of deal. Shit, what? Are you getting st- Oh, this tumbly piece of shit. Really? And turn around, and up in you. Are you gonna- Yes, okay, are, uh, okay. I don't quite know what happened there. Did they actually clip through each other? Uh, alright, looks alright. Now, what was those- Oh, well, don't we have a lot of new stuff? Cooked symbiote. I don't think I want to eat a, a reconstituted lobster. All right, whatever. Tools. Thump, thumper. Thumps things. I guess I've never... Oh, that was for the worms. Kind of like in Dune. Um. Well, but these are the ones I was looking for. Do you not even need that plant? You need an ion cube, gold, silver, and lithium. Well, maybe we should try making one then. Let's try slapping up a, an iron battery, shall we? Um, alright then, what do we need to change the most? Probably this thing. This is probably also the one that I need the most power in. Yeah. Boom! Alright, so I don't think I actually need to build any ion power cells because so far I've had no problems running out of power in Blurpy. He seems to be doing just fine with the distances I'm traveling. But, um, ooh, I kind of want to keep playing in a way, but I've already played for quite a while. I did get a base set up. I got those ion battery and power cell blueprints. I feel like I accomplished quite a bit. I got that alien artifact and stuff and uh, found a bunch of diamonds. That was great. Maybe I'll go up to the snowy base and do that stuff in the next episode and try to... What the hell? Is it like raining lava? What the hell? I don't know what the heck is going on. Some kind of hail storm. But um, I think I've played enough for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and round off this episode and continue in the next one. But for now, thank you for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one as well. Bye bye!